Hello family, welcome to uh, Uncle John's origami class. We're gonna make uh, flowers today. Uh, sometimes I call these tulips, but you could also get away with calling them roses. This is the finished product, at least to the scale that I like to do. And it's made of two pieces, the flower head and the stem. So we're gonna do the flower head first. Uh, it took me a while to remember all this stuff. All origami starts with a square. So take a normal sheet of paper like this. But actually, Jess, you can maybe come, you can come like on this side. That way you can kind of um, see it. Uh, just fold it straight over, kind of find your edges. Uh, I like to make a little, little uh, start seam at the top and then run it all the way down. Um, the fingernails are really helpful um, and just push hard so you get a nice clean cut. Um, for what we need to do, I, all, I often do this as well after I folded that, is I fold this, um, this loose or this extra piece that isn't part of the square. I fold, I fold that piece down. Okay, so you see how that works? So it was like that. So those pieces, you can probably see the shadows. Then the trick is, you just keep filming just, the trick is to lick the seam. You, you don't need to use scissors. Um, in fact, it like, it's almost a little more authentic if you don't have scissors, but I, it doesn't really matter. Just lick it once, like you're licking an envelope like this, all the way down. While it's wet, pull it apart. So like you, you can, it will actually gently come. If you just do, push hard to the table, it'll rip like that. So now I have a square. Um, the point is, um, half of this can, will be the stem and a square out of here will be the flower. Now you can actually, you can actually just kind of make a square like this and um, kind of cut it up into four and you can cut those out if you want to make a whole bunch of, of these guys because we need to make the flower stem, or not the stem, sorry, the actual flower. But I'm going to do a stem and a flower, okay? So to do that, uh, I need I need to rip it right down here so I just get um, this triangle out of the square. So again, I'm gonna lick that thing all the way down while it's still wet. You can kind of, you have to ease it a bit to kind of get it started. And yes, that's my lovely dog. It's not my dog, it's just our dog, Radar. Okay, thanks, Radar. So anyway, here she goes. So you see, I, I, I ripped those in two. Now, um, this one, um, we can make a square out of what's left by doing, by folding these two ends up. And so their edges um, touch like this, something like that. If you're not super close, it's not the end of the world, um, but it does help if you're close. So again, I'm using my thumb nail a whole bunch and I'm gonna rip these two off, these two triangles, I'm gonna rip them off, okay? So again, lick the seam. One lick is usually good. Start the start and just pull, and it'll, it'll rip apart um, like so. Uh, see if it rips a little bit. That's okay. So anyway, look. So now I got another square, which is I know we're kind of making shapes here. That is half of, or that's this corner of the square. And then this is for the stem, and this was the part that I ripped off. So there, there's a whole sheet of paper. Yeah, does that work, Jess? You can kind of see that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Um, this is garbage for the most part. You can't really use those. Let's make the flower. Okay, so with the flower, what we start, uh, you fold one like across corner to corner like this. Oops. Um, I know this is a little bit small to work with, but it produces, it produces, again, what we're making is a flower head this big. Okay, so, <clears throat> um, Start like that. Actually, I think it's easy to make uh, an X first. And um, something like that. Okay. And then what we need to do is um, we need to make a, uh, we need to make a, I call these like the, a starship from um, Infinity War. <laughs> There's, uh, so here's your, here's your X like this. What we need to get it to is, is this, okay? 
So if you can, if you see it like this, what, what you can do is, I call it, it's somewhat of a squash fold. So this is your X. If you, if you push in these two sides until they touch and then fold them down on each other, now you're gonna make a triangle that looks like this, but it ha and, and you should flatten it, okay? Flatten it so it's both on the inside. Honestly, Radar, get in here and start making noise. Okay, so, the, and then if you were to open it, it would, you'd have four pieces, you'd have four wings, okay? Something like that, can you see that okay? So, um, like, I mean, you could, you could do it, you could do it this side if you want, but you have four wings like this, but they sit in, in this triangle like this, okay? So that's like that. Once you get it like this, you fa like face down in that direction, and then you fold up the, these are gonna be the petals, okay? And you need four of them. So they, uh, they, they both come up to make another square, just like this. And again, use your thumb as you go, both sides, okay? And uh, something like that when you're done. Using your thumbnail is good. Okay, so then you get to this point, okay? So this, this is gonna be the top of the flower and you have four petals. This is the bottom, okay? But what we need to do is make, we're eventually trying to do this little trick where we're gonna, we're gonna get two edges that one's end is gonna fold into the other. So to do that, see right here you, got, you have these flaps. If you're holding it this way and this way, the two flaps, what you need to do is fold one flap over the other so you have a whole side that has no flaps, okay? And you gotta do that to the other side, if you can see what I just did there. So I just folded the flaps in, and so now you have a smooth side on the back and a smooth side on the front, so it's nice and uniform like that. Again, with this still as the top, okay? Now what we need to do is fold um, to the, the crease line, like I'm showing you here, to start making the petals, okay? So you do that from both sides. I hope the lighting's okay and you can probably tell. I think you guys can follow this easy enough. You can always like pause or slow the video down or whatever and see what I'm doing, okay? So, so see I folded those two so they come in and touch each other and then you flip it over and you do the same thing with the other two and just fold it to the crease. Now, um, you kind of work the paper. I know I've done this a bit so it looks like I'm going really fast but if it doesn't feel right, just kind of, you kind of roll the paper and push it so that it will, and then yeah, just keep using your thumbnail. Okay, so now it looks like this. Again, this is the bottom and this is the top. And then you can now stick your thumb in there and kind of open it up a little bit. And this is the kind of where you slip one side into the other. So you take, you have the two folds here. I take my thumb and kind of open one of them, like you see the one on the left. And then you kind of bend the one in the, on the right into the one in the left. Now I know I made that look easy, but that kind of just went in. So this side, this is slipped into this side, and then you do the same thing over here. Again, take your thumbnail and open up, open up that left side, and then you um, just kind of have to, it's not necessarily gonna go easily, but if you can kind of like, kind of buckle that one and tuck it in. So look, now I have, it's tucked in here and it's tucked in here, okay? Um, now, uh, now what you can do is roll down your petals. So just find them, there's four of them. You can roll them down as much as you want. Um, I usually take them down something like that. So you can roll down all four, okay? So just kind of get your thumbnail in there, find the leaf or find the petal and gently pull it down. You don't want to rip it, of course, because you want to keep kind of the tech or the, the smoothness. And again, with these, and again, if, if, if your thing slips out here, just tuck it back in. Um, I did have a pen in here. If you really want to, you can roll the petals you can roll the leaves down using like a, a pen or something like that and it looks cool because look, the, um, you do that and it actually holds its shape so it looks like a nice little curl. You can do that to all of them. I kind of like doing that just as a final touch. Now if you're making a whole bunch of these, sometimes it's super annoying. Um, but something like that, okay? And you can, you can peel them down more than that. I usually don't go more, but you can go more than that if you want. You know, this is the fun part. So just just kind of focus on my face here. <laughs> so. What you do is you take the bottom end, and we're gonna blow this up. This is actually a Chinese water bomb, okay? So, uh, Chinese, it should be Japanese because this is origami, so we'll say it's a Japanese um, water bomb. Um, I flip it upside down like this, and I, I pinch and hold with my index and thumb the two, um, I guess those two seams or the, the two places where they're, 
uh, those little arms kind of folded into each other. And then what you do at this point, I'm going to moisten it a little bit with my lips and then blow hard. And what will happen is the inside of this will blow up, okay? It's going to actually expand like uh, a, a Japanese water bomb, okay? So it looks something like this. Here we go. <laughs> See that? Sorry, I, I came out of focus. So what happened, look, this end, this end just blew out nicely and um, there's a hole there now. Well, there, there was a hole there to begin with, obviously. But what it did is it just filled it out. Okay, now you need to do that. If you don't do this, it doesn't look like, a, it, looks, it looks wimpy, like it doesn't look rounded. But now you have a rounded flower head, okay? Now this part, of course, you can make this out of any color. You don't have to do it in white. I mean, I usually found like red paper or blue paper or something, and then you do the same thing so that you already, it's already colored. If you really want to color it beforehand, it's a lot of work. So anyway, but yeah, I got two of these now, but whatever. So this is the flower head. Okay, so last thing. We're gonna take this, now you can get back up there, Justin. We're gonna take this remaining triangle and we're going to make it into this. We're gonna make it into a stem. Now this stem only has one leaf. You can make more leaves. In fact, I'm gonna show you how to make more. This, this part of the, the short, uh, sorry, the long end, this is gonna become the stem and we're gonna roll this up, okay? But what's, what we learned in the past is you can cut leaves out to a certain point, something like this. I'll cut two on this one, okay? That one I only did one. So what you do is you cut them something like this, and then we need to remove all the excess. So when you roll it up, the leaves are left to stick out, okay? Now, um, what I like to do with this, if you can see, is I try and cut a line that matches this line. It probably doesn't matter that much, but and what I mean is I remove the excess. So something like that, okay? So see that line is, and I, I, I kind of cut to an imaginary line. If it's not right on it, it's, it's still gonna work. Um, but I need to remove the excess. You can see as I'm doing this, you can cut out as many leaves as you wish. I'm just gonna have two. Um, I've done as many as three, but even one is gonna be sufficient. Okay, so now, so you see how this, the line that I vertically cut parallels this line. Now, um, this is where glue stick comes in real handy. Glue stick works great for this. What you should do, if you, if you imagine this, I'm gonna lay it flat. I use a bamboo skewer, but I've also lost my pen. I've also, I used to take a pen apart and then use the inside of the pen, like the skinny, uh, the, cil the cylinder on the inside that holds the ink. You can take that and do the same thing, but a bamboo skewer is nice because it's nice and long. So I guess you could do it with a toothpick too, but that's not as long. Anyway, so here's your, um, Here's your uh, uh, flower. With a glue stick, I just do one strip right at the end. Okay, so do you see that? Um, that's gonna be enough glue, but I would do the whole thing, like from top to bottom, just like that, right next to the leaves. Now don't glue the leaves, because they are gonna stick out, but just that part, okay? And then you roll it up. So the trick to rolling, I mean, there's lots of ways you can do that. I usually take it about part way like this, and start at one end, and you just start to work the paper um, pushing hard so that you get it to curl around the bamboo skewer. Now, if it's not, if it doesn't quite do it, back up, because you want it, it helps if it's nice and tight. So I'll see I'm rolling it forward and backward. I'm kind of just shaping the paper a little bit as I go. And then kind of, once you've kind of got it started, let me back up here, because I like to do them nice and tight. Then, then just keep rolling, okay? I'm already, I've already crinkled this one. Um, Okay, something like, oh, it's ripping, dang it. I'm, going, I'm trying to go as long as I can here without ripping it, and I just ripped that one. But that shouldn't matter too much either, because in the end, um, it's gonna be all hidden. So I'll see if I can still work that. I was hoping not to do that, because a ripped one, it, then it doesn't keep rolling after that. So, okay. Slowly but surely, if I can get that to roll. Okay, now don't worry too much about the shape just yet. Just get yourself to the glued part and let it kind of grip. And then look at that, as you twist it, now here on the skewer, you can really tighten it. Like you can see how I'm just like, re or like rolling it onto the skewer as tight as I can once you get to this point. The paper will sort of shape and mold to it. Usually what happens is the bottom end is wider and then the top end gets really skinny and that's totally fine But you need the top end to be skinny. That's the one you want to be really tight the one that you started 
okay? But you can just roll it and roll it and you can feel the glue gripping the, the strand and then you get something like this, okay? So as you've worked that enough, then that rolls nice and it rolls nice and tight up here. And I would seriously like use your fingers like I'm doing kind of like a corkscrew right up the paper to get it as tight as you can and then pull out the bamboo skewer, okay? Now, to ensure that it will go inside, sometimes these holes get a little tiny, I like to take my thumb and just kind of corkscrew it and push hard so I go right to a point, okay? Uh, hopefully that's in focus or whatever, but um, because that'll just help you um, insert it better into the flower head. Now this is the one we did, actually I did this one first, but I didn't roll, I didn't roll the petals, they look kind of like stiff, but this one looks a little better as in a peeled pedal if that makes sense. So now, see that there's a hole right underneath it. You use the, the Japanese water bomb to blow it up. Now all you do is just kind of corkscrew that in there and push until it hits the top. So the stem now went in and the stem is at the very top of the flower. And then you're basically done. What I, I mean a couple things I like to do, I like to kind of partially shape the leaves a little bit. So just kind of give them a little buckle or a crimp so that they don't look so flat, okay? And, um, and then also too, because most petals, most rose petals are not nice and straight, so I like to put a little kink in it, okay? Something like that. So it's just at a tiny angle, so it looks more realistic, okay? So anyway, here's the other one. We can load that guy in here. Okay, now, more, to, oops. The petal, or sorry, the, the, the head should stay on for the most part. If you really wanted to, you could put a dab of glue in there and like lock it on. Um, cause I mean, but for the most part, it'll just stay. Okay. See, I'm just holding it like that. Um, one tip that I often did when I was trying to impress like Tannis when I was dating her and other girls is all you do is take some cologne and you spray the flower. <laughs> okay. So when they get the flower, they're like, Oh, okay. So you can do that. Um, but I definitely recommend, uh, using green paper. So you see how I kind of made this all out of one sheet of paper, but if I would recommend using green paper for the stem and then whatever color you want for the flower, okay? But you do the same steps, just just find some colored paper. And you can get you can get as creative as you want. You can make I know for a while one time I made a dozen roses and they were like all colors. So it was like, you know, rainbow stem and 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 um, the flower head was different. And um, that's basically it. Now, one quick story about this. I learned how to make these in high school and I kind of had fun giving them away to girls that I would date or just being nice. I just give flowers away to people. Um, uh, I taught Uncle Aaron how to do this when he was in, at BYU. And actually my first year at BYU, I made these and gave them away to a bunch of girls. And um, Gina, Aunt Gina, was a freshman the year I was at BYU and um, she saw some of these flowers. I don't think I ever gave her one directly, but she saw them because anyway, the Canadians were making flowers. And so she saw this. <coughs> and um, years later though, Aaron made these in his ward as a gift for all the Relief Society sisters. And Gina was in the ward at the time and she saw the flower and she was like, I've seen that before. Uh, I knew some Canadians who made that and she investigated who made the flowers and she found out it was Aaron. And then the rest is history. Well, actually I kind of made that last part up. I'm not sure about the details on that, but I do know that Gina recognized a flower that Aaron had made, but Aaron made these and he was giving them away to all the Relief Society ladies. So that's kind of a cool history of this little flower, but uh, I've, I've made them for a long time and they're kind of fun. So that's it. Ciao.